Is that it? Nah, that's a cloud. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't see you there. As you can see, I'm very busy. Uh-huh. Busy doing things. Important things. If you say so. Jillian, aren't you gonna ask me what I'm doing? I didn't want to interrupt your important things. For your information, I'm looking for balloons. I think you can get them by the bag at Dollar General. Not that kind of balloon. Look! What is that? There have been reports of spy balloons in the area. Spy balloons? Enemy surveillance. You wouldn't understand. I'm gonna go throw a rock at it. No, Jillian, it might contain a dangerous payload. Well, how else are we gonna find out what's inside it? We'll have to report it to the authorities. Hello, U.S. government? It's just one person? I'd like to report a spy balloon in my area. Yeah, I'll hold. Do we get a reward? What do you mean, we? I saw it too. The reward is knowing you're a good citizen. I'd rather get a check. Oh, hello. What did it look like? Tell them it looked like a spy balloon or they'll never pay us. Um, it was big, puffy, white. You are literally describing a cloud. No, it definitely wasn't a cloud. Alright, thanks. What'd they say? They thanked me for the report and said to keep an eye on it. No, what did they say about the reward? There is no reward! Stupid government not sending out reward money even though I saw the balloon too. I better go keep an eye on it like they said. Well, I'm not getting off this couch. I don't work for free. Oh, I guess that's definitely not a balloon. Ha, you filed a false report. You're in trouble with the government now. It looks like some kind of spaceship. Eh, as long as it doesn't land, I'm not really concerned. It landed just outside. Eh, as long as there aren't any aliens inside it. What else do you think flies a spaceship? I don't know, Jeffrey Bezos? Wait, I think I just saw something scurry behind a shrubbery. Yeah, it sounds like something Jeffrey Bezos would do. It's not Jeffrey Bezos! I wonder if there's a reward for citing him. I better call the hotline again. Hm? Yeah, I am the one who just called. No, I'm not calling about a reward. You're not even trying, are you? That balloon I reported earlier, it turns out it wasn't a balloon. No, it wasn't a cloud. It could have been. I didn't get a close look at it. It was an alien spacecraft that landed in my yard, and now there's an alien loose in the neighborhood. Hello? Hello? They hung up on me. And your story was so credible. Julian, I'm serious. I think the planet's being invaded. This wouldn't have happened if you'd let me throw a rock at it. Okay, let's not panic. Let's just stay inside until this is all over. We have lots of provisions left over from the lockdowns. Ooh, I kind of threw all the emergency food into the trash last week because I thought I saw a rat on it. You thought you saw a rat? Yeah, well, it turned out it was just a, um, another animal. It was our dog, Miska, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Alright, as long as we stay inside, we should be fine. <laughs> Still want to stay inside? Let's go check it out. Ah! It's an alien invasion! So now do you believe me about the spaceship? I bet you're wishing you had some rocks to throw right about now, huh? Okay, there's an alien in our house and the government doesn't believe us. And don't forget, I threw out the emergency food supply. Uh, yeah, that too. What should we do? Maybe we're jumping to conclusions. Maybe the alien comes in peace. I don't know, Jillian. It looked like he was holding some kind of weapon. 
I thought that was a confetti cannon. Confetti cannon? You know, to celebrate conquering Earth. Maybe you're right. What? Really? Not about the confetti cannon, but maybe they don't have evil intentions. We can't just judge by appearances. Right. Let's go talk to this guy. Hello. We mean you no harm, but we do have some questions. Are you, in fact, Jeffrey Bezos? Jillian? Come on, we're all thinking it. <laughs> do you come in peace? Is that a weapon or a confetti cannon? <laughs> ah! It's definitely a weapon! I don't think I took any hits. Jillian, are you a whoa? What's wrong, Daddy? You look like you saw a ghost. Jillian, you must have gotten hit. What this? Tis but a flesh wound. Jillian, you're just a skeleton. Addy, I thought we agreed we're not gonna body shame anyone. I don't understand how you're still alive. Does it hurt? It's not so bad. And think of all the money I'll save on skincare products. You're taking this awfully well. Not really. I just realized my whole wardrobe is gonna need replaced. Those aliens can't do this to my sister! Go get him! Avenge my boniness! Hey, you messed with the wrong family! Aha! Huh. Despite being an alien, he has the same skeleton that we do. What a coinky dink. Jillian! Hello! You're normal again. I mean, as normal as you can be. You're not a skeleton anymore! Hey, you're right. I was wondering why it didn't feel so drafty anymore. That's weird. I wonder why it was just a temporary effect. You know what? I feel better than I ever have before. Like a whole new person. I guess it wasn't a death ray after all. Maybe the aliens are here to cure our illnesses or stop us from aging. I told you this was all just a big misunderstanding. I feel kind of bad. I turned the alien into a skeleton and he was only trying to help us. Nice going. See if he gives you a new body when it's your turn. He should be regenerated by now. Unless the ray was specifically designed for humans. Only one way to find out. Nice going, you scared him away. We better go out to the ship and explain. Let's go to the window. Now you've done it, Addy. They were only here to help us, and now the world will never know. Well, at least one of us got a new body out of it. That's right. Did they give you any superpowers? Let's see. Oh no. Hey guys, if you made it this far, you're one of our most loyal fans, so we wanted you to be the first to hear about my very own brand new channel called Popjaw. So if you like pop culture and you like comedy, you're gonna love Popjaw. Um, videos will be coming really soon, so be sure to subscribe to Popjaw, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my first episode when it comes. And I'll be trying to respond to as many first day commenters on that first video as I possibly can as a special thank you for watching my first video and subscribing. So remember, that's Popjaw. That's where pop culture meets comedy. And don't worry, our channels aren't going anywhere. Yeah, the other channels aren't going no. anywhere. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Why isn't he waving? Well, Uncle George, you know, he's, he's too busy digging himself out of the ground. Mm -hmm. Has he been on a diet? I can see